boys, how are we? Uh, I was going to say guess where I am, but uh, I think the title of the video is something about Rome. So yeah, I'm in Rome. Um, this is the hotel, well, Airbnb uh, thing that I'm staying in. Uh, really nice in here actually. Uh, only two issues. One, no Wi-Fi at the moment. And two, the woman who owns it, who I'm obviously like renting it off or whatever, doesn't speak a word of English. And when I say she doesn't speak a word of English, I mean not a single word. So uh, yeah, the handover yesterday was, was very, very interesting because she couldn't speak English. I don't speak a word of Italian. And uh, yeah, we had to like, walk over the road to the coffee shop to get someone who spoke English to sort of translate. And even then, she didn't really understand anything that I was saying and I kind of understood what she was saying. I just had to give her 30 euros for some reason which I still don't understand what that's for. But anyway, um yeah no I I was gonna film last night but to be honest by the time I uh, by the time I got here I just wanted to walk, go straight into into the city centre and, and walk around. Honestly the journey was an absolute absolute nightmare. Um they overbooked my flight by 48 people. I don't know how you overbook by 48 people but somehow I still got on it just through pure charm and charisma and then uh but even then it was still delayed like two and a half hours so it was meant to take off at five past nine uk time i think it ended up taking off at about quarter to midday or something like that and then obviously so i didn't get here till like i was probably in my room by maybe like five o'clock in the afternoon when i thought i was going to be here at like one or two but it is what it is uh bit bit of problems on my fault some there and I didn't plan the journey from the airport very well either and then yeah uh, also left my sunglasses in the Uber from the airport so yeah I've got to go and buy sunglasses now uh, so yeah to be honest yesterday before before I actually went out in Rome and had a nice evening yesterday was actually a complete disaster but well it wasn't because if I hadn't got on the flight that would have been a complete disaster but anyway I'm not complaining I'm here now it is absolutely boiling um, I'll try and take you guys out and about with me and film as as much as possible um, I took sort of a few things on my phone yesterday and got some weird looks so I'm not really sure considering it's like a tourist town they're not very touristy but anyway yeah no i had um i don't know if you saw i had, had an italian last night smashed some carbonara you know when in rome literally when in rome and uh yeah so in terms of today gonna walk around a little bit i don't think i'm gonna do any of the tour today's gonna be still a little bit more mapping and then tomorrow i'm gonna do sort of coliseum and all the touristy bits and, and everything like that but yeah i'll uh, i'll catch up with you guys out and about on the trail Uh, it's a few days on from when I last filmed, still back in the apartment. Uh, it's actually proving a lot harder than I thought to get footage uh, out and about in terms of me chatting to the camera in, in Rome. I need to sort of find some, some quieter back streets. Everywhere is really, really busy. And also, it's not particularly pleasant filming with 30 degree heat just down on you. There's not there's not much shade either. Um, and yeah, I think you just wouldn't be able to see my face. But no, um, been all right so far. Uh, it, well, not been all right, it's been really cool. Rome's an absolutely lovely city um, that I would highly recommend to anyone. Um, bit, of, bit of pro tips of traveling Rome, plan your journeys. Everywhere's a much further walk than it looks. Um, I don't know if it's just London bias, but I always assume every other city's tiny compared to us. It's not, uh, it's like, Walking between the landmarks is like an, is like 45 minutes to an hour each way. Like I just, I got off the bus yesterday and I was like, cool, I'm just going to walk to the Coliseum. Don't look that far. It was, it was a long, long walk, which I don't mind a long walk, but you end up spending a lot of time walking, um, which yeah, I guess isn't necessarily a problem, but my point is definitely look it up. Um, in, in terms of the apartment I'm staying in, uh, apart from the fact that it was advertised with Wi-Fi, ironing board, safe, uh, a few other things, hot water, 
and it doesn't have any of those things. Uh, apart from that, it's going fine. Uh, in terms of the actual journey, there's literally a bus that picks me up outside the thing and goes straight into Rome City Centre, so on that side I can't complain. Also, I really hope the bus in Rome is free, because no one's asked me for a ticket yet, so I've just been getting on it. So, if a ticket inspector gets on, I'm going to absolutely shit myself. But, here we are. Um, yeah, no, been really good so far. I've tried to get little bits of footage, um, and I hope they've, they've come out alright, sort of in between. I will try and film sort of a little bit more, actually, out and about in Rome. Um, I've just filmed today's video, which will be last Thursday by the time, uh, by the time this comes out. As always, Faf on tour has been out and about with us as well. Um, but yeah, look, this is the first solo holiday I've gone, and so far it's going probably about, in terms of my competence and how things are going, it's probably going about a six out of 10. The overall holiday has been, been absolutely quality. Uh, as I said, Rome's a beautiful city. Um, it's somewhere that I, d I definitely recommend people go to, and, it, and it's, it's kind of made me wish that I just did this like a year ago um, or uh, ages ago uh, and just travelled traveled solo. Uh, it's definitely something I'm going to do more in future. Um, I've, as I've said, sort of, I'm going to plan and if I do, well, not if, when I do holidays like this again in future, I'm definitely going to plan a lot more in terms of where I'm going to go and, and, and maybe make sure where I'm staying. If I have to pay a little bit more to stay a little bit more central, I think that would be worth it. Just because it does take about sort of 35 minutes to get into the centre of Rome. And obviously I want to I, I normally come home halfway through the day when their siesta is so I can shower and change because it's so hot you can't just wear the same clothes all day. Um, so I probably end up doing about two hours of travelling every day, which isn't, isn't ideal, but look, it, it, it's not, not complained at all. Um, and also I think money-wise, I think if I'd have maybe booked a little bit more in advance or booked a better deal, uh, I, I would have saved quite a lot. Uh, but look, these are all, these are all lessons we learn. It, it, it is what it is. Um, I, I, as I say, I'd certainly recommend Rome to anyone. I'd certainly recommend travelling alone to anyone. Um, that's what a video I've just done for, for last Thursday, so hopefully you guys will have, will have seen that already if you're committed followers of the, of the channel, all five of you. In terms of today, um, yesterday was a little bit more sort of marking out landmarks and things like that. Uh, so today I'm I'm probably gonna maybe walk around and actually do, like I've sort of been to the landmarks, but I haven't actually sort of been inside, so I'll maybe go in and, and sort of get some, I don't know, touristy shit like get some historical facts and things like that. I feel I'm gonna give the Vatican a miss. One, just because of time, and two, I don't really care. I'm not the least religious person going. Um, which is a shame because everyone who I've spoken to said it probably is worth going to whether you're whether you're religious or not. But I just I just think time wise it's not gonna happen. Obviously Colosseum is gonna be an absolute must. I just need to work out if I'm gonna do that today or before I go tomorrow. Um I've it, it is a brilliant idea booking a flight really late in the evening because obviously it means that I get an, basically a whole extra day in Rome but obviously I have to be out of my apartment by midday and it's a nightmare walking around in this heat at the best of times I really don't want to have to be taking a rucksack and suitcase walking around the Colosseum so my aim for for today, uh, I'm recording this at probably about 7.30 in the morning, um, if, if I look awful, that's why. Um, if uh, Yeah, so probably the aim for today is gonna be to make a friend somewhere, maybe in one of the restaurants and just go, look, not to take the piss, but if I drop my suitcase off here for the day, I'm just gonna walk around. Do you mind, is that all right? If I, and I'll like, I don't know, if it's a restaurant, I'll just say, look, I'll have dinner here and maybe put a nice service charge on or something like that. Um, to be fair, a lot of, uh, there are some places that have been really nice and really friendly and everything like that, but I've, I don't <laughs> I don't know if it's like a Brexit thing, uh, but Italians, yeah, they're, they're not, they, they haven't been as welcoming as I remember um, at all, which is, it's their right, the, and I should speak more Italian. It's pretty poor that I've come to a country and barely speak a word of their language, but yeah, I I, cause I went to Italy every every year pretty near on for most of my childhood and I never remember English being a problem, uh, but it's been a pretty big problem. Yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned that before. The lady who whose uh, apartment this is does not speak a word of it, like a word of English. Um, 
And yeah, I don't think she's very happy with me, but she can't tell me why. She keeps asking for something, but I don't know what it means. I tried Google Translate, she didn't want to hear it. But yeah, again, lessons we learn. Um, so yeah, so the little things that I've learned. For example, next time you can check what languages the host speaks. Uh, I just thought everyone in Italy spoke English, but maybe that was just me being arrogant. But anyway, yeah, that, that's sort of what's going to be going on today. I'll try and get some more footage out and about for you guys. I've um, been trying to get pictures for Instagram, gone absolutely terribly, but who knows, last minute. Um, as the chronic overpacking has come back to bite me, I, yeah, I've got so many clothes here. I'll turn it around so you can kind of see. But, uh, way more than I ever needed, and yeah, it's become quite inconvenient to be honest, to the point of I might leave some of the lesser pieces here. But anyway, well, we'll work that out. But yeah, look, I'm gonna get some more footage out about. Uh, I wanted to film nice and early so I can find somewhere uh, to pitch up and edit the video and everything like that. And uh, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much me out for now. I'll um, I'll obviously catch up with you guys either later in the day probably. Uh, just in the airport waiting to go home now um, I'm apologies I haven't sort of actually filmed and chat with you guys much in Rome uh, it's been had a few nightmares just with traveling and everything like that um, my flight's only been delayed half an hour at the moment so hopefully shouldn't be here too much longer um, but I'm do want to sort of uh, make sure that I'm there when the flight actually goes and everything like that so can't sit here and film for too long look when I'm back in England uh, I'll sort of go still a couple of days before this goes up um, I'll go for a walk. Well, I'll actually have to sit down and pop a little debrief for the whole day because it has been it's been a brilliant few days, just a little bit more stressful than, <laughs> than I expected. Uh, mostly, mostly my fault, like uh, just lack of planning from my side of things. Rome was just a lot busier than I thought it was going to be, and it was my first ever solo holiday. So you know, uh, we live and we learn. So, made it back alive, uh, got home about one o'clock uh, this morning, yeah, one o'clock this morning uh, by the time by the time I'd landed, got to Highfield and then driven home. Uh, yeah, so obviously wasn't going to film at like one o'clock in the morning. Uh, but yeah, no, feeling, feeling all right, feeling good. I was a bit tired this morning, but just uh, got stuff done today, been out for a walk, gone and done a bit of, uh, bit of food shopping, bit of uh, lemon water, not a bit, I've probably, probably done about a gallon already today. I feel like I'm just like... 50% alcohol, 50% pasta. I actually didn't drink that much, so that's a bit of a lie. But, uh, but yeah, no, all, all feeling good. Look, I only, I only wanted to do a little bit of a debrief just because obviously I didn't get to, uh, didn't get to film loads in terms of chatting to the camera out there. I've just sort of uploaded the footage I've got and put together the video so far. Uh, I really did, I really did look rough on that, uh, on that second clip. I think I did mention at the end that it was, uh, it was sort of 7.30 in the morning uh, and uh, I didn't sleep much out there. So uh, yeah, but I, I really did really did look rough. Yeah, no, look, um, really good holiday. Would highly recommend Rome to anyone. Um, I actually wouldn't recommend it as a solo destination. Um, I've, I, I enjoyed it, but I actually think I would have enjoyed it more with someone. Um, I would seriously recommend planning and booking everything in advance um, just because there is so much to do there. And it's a lot more spread out than it that it looks on a map. So yeah, book your Colosseum tickets, Vatican tickets, all of that early, and sort of plan your days a little bit more. Because I, I sort of I went and I saw bits, but I sort of feel like I haven't actually done anything. Um, oh yeah, I didn't mention in there. So I went to go to the Colosseum on my last day, and they were like, "Nah, we sold out." So you can't just turn up to the Colosseum on the day and go in. Maybe that's really obvious to some people, but I. I thought you'd be fine, but anyway, no, I would definitely go back to Rome. Probably will go back to Rome because I feel like I uh, I didn't sort of cover everything that I wanted to. Would highly recommend it as a as a as a holiday and everything like that. Yeah, uh, and in terms of other in terms of other takeaway lessons, um, yeah, get a host that speaks English on uh, or or whatever language you speak on um, 
Airbnb because yeah, I had no Wi-Fi, no iron, no uh, no AC, and no hot water for the first two days. So yeah, it was the room was probably about 25 degrees overnight. So I, I really haven't slept much the last week. But look, it was it was such it was a good holiday. Uh, we definitely definitely recommend. Um, I think I in terms of solo traveling, I'd 100% do it again. I'd probably just uh, maybe do a little bit more research into the city. Rome was very very much families and couples. There was absolutely no nightlife whatsoever in terms of going out. And not that I sort of would have partied till the early hours anyway. But sort of there was I. I would next time I'd definitely pick a place that is that is more common for young solo travellers to go because you're obviously going to meet other people. Like it it would have been more enjoyable if if I'd known someone known someone out there or whatever. But look, lessons learned. Um, I, yeah, would definitely go back. Uh, just plan it a little bit differently in terms of all the benefits of travelling solo. Go and check out my last video. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to run through. Not going to run through all of that again. But yeah, no, all good. Tired. Glad I went. Nice tan. I think I've got a tan. Um, I actually feel I, I weighed myself when I got back. I, I actually haven't lost weight, and I think that's just because I was doing like thirty thousand steps a day, and that is the benefit of a city break in in comparison to sort of just laying on a beach for a week. Is a uh, yeah, you I you don't eat as much because of the heat, and also I was doing tens of thousands of steps every day, so I actually feel a lot healthier than before <laughs> before I went away. But look, I'll uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope uh, I hope I sort of got enough footage to make the make the vlog come out well. And um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care, lads.